hi, I'm Kelly, and this video is part of a series I've been creating about my keratoconus and my experience with its treatment options. And as of late, that has been my corneal transplant, but eventually I will get cross-linking as well, and I will follow that experience as well. This video is about my two-month follow-up appointment. If you haven't seen my previous videos or you want to, um, they will be linked in the video description box below. As I've stated, this is my two-month follow-up appointment um, video, and I'm going to make it relatively brief because it was a short appointment, so therefore a short video, but I want to inform you about my progress and the changes that have been made to my routine since a month ago. So... As usual, I went in for the appointment and started with an eye chart. I personally didn't feel like I did as well as I did a month ago, but my dad comes with me to take me to the appointment and to see how I'm progressing, and he said that I had got more correct. So perhaps I was able to see more on the eye chart, but I didn't get the letters as accurate. I didn't get them all correct. So he said I did better on the eye chart this time, even though I didn't feel like I um, made any progress on that. <clears throat> so the changes that I had made in my routine before this appointment was to um, taper myself off the drops. So as I discussed in my previous video, um, I started on the drops for four times a day every six hours, and then... After my last appointment, they wanted me to switch to two times a day for a week, and then the next week to once a day, and then the week after that to be completely off. So I followed that, and I've been off the drops for a few weeks now, and that led to a change in my eye, and I'll talk about that a little bit later on in this video. So, let's see here. The changes that have been made after this appointment was that I don't have to wear an eye patch when I sleep anymore, and I can lift 50 pounds instead of only 20. What else here? Um, I told you I would inform you when I start working out again because they told me that I was able to do that, and I have started working out again, and it's been fine. I haven't really experienced any pain or discomfort associated with my vision or my eyes while working out or after working out, but I also have been doing mostly cardio and not um, exerting myself with a lot of weight training. So, let's see here. Yes, the eye drops um, caused a change in my eye, which was good because my pressure was quite high. Um, and now I believe it's like a 13 or 14, and I believe they said a pressure of 10 to 20 is normal. Um, but again, don't, don't take my word as the truth in that. I think it's 10 to 20, but it could be a wider range or a smaller range. Um, so my pressure is back to normal because of coming off the eye drops, and that's good. That was the main reason why I went into the appointment was to get my pressure checked. Um, so they said I was healing nicely, that my stitches are all still intact. Um, the next time that I'm going to be going into an appointment is two months from now, and that will be meeting with the doctor that performed my surgery, and, um, also the, um, optometrist that I meet with regularly, um, and they will be checking to see when I will be able to get the stitches out. When I meet with them, I will not be getting the stitches out in two months. It will just be a appointment to see when I will be able to get them out. Um, <clears throat> I apologize, I keep saying. Um, I'm just trying to keep track on my list here and my train of thought. So, yeah. I have not really experienced a lot of pain, but I've experienced some slight pain every now and then, kind of like um, when my eyelid closes, but I don't think it's dragging on my cornea like it used to. I think it's more associated with dryness in my eye because of the weather and the 
heat in the house. So I, I don't think it's anything to be worried about, especially since I had some of that pain beforehand. Um, and they checked me out and everything was all good. Uh, so when I go back for the two month appointment, I will probably ask the doctor about cross linking and when that will be an option for me because that is the next step in this whole process and we wanted to wait until my transplant had healed up a decent amount. So I don't know if it will be relatively recent or in a few months, but I will definitely let you know. As I said, the appointment is a few months from now, a couple months from now, and I will update you when that appointment occurs, but until then there's probably not going to be a whole lot to talk about in these videos and don't really want to ramble on about nothing. So yeah, that was my two month follow up appointment. I hope this has been helpful and I will look forward to making another one for you in a couple months. Bye!